and I did this little series. It's just four paintings. I've got a swallowtail. I have a honeybee. It is like a, a hefty, big, big palette. Hello everybody. I am so glad to be back with another video. It's been a little while. It's been a kind of a long time and I'm excited to share some more. Today's video is actually going to be sharing some of the new work that I have coming out. Um, I'm a full-time artist here in the Southern Appalachian Mountains and I've been working on all these wooden palettes that I'm going to go through one by one with you. And I've also been working on a new set of paintings that I'm going to share when I flip the camera down. But I just wanted you to know, um, I really appreciate you watching my videos. I am going to have some more um, videos coming up soon. I'm gonna talk about my new favorite cotton watercolor sketchbooks. I've tried out a few since my last one, a few new versions. And I've also been spending more time in the ones that I have. And I really wanna share what I'm like, what I'm feeling about all that. So if there's any other videos that you would like my opinion on and my take on, um, let me know and I'm happy to start putting those back together. I feel like I'm finally starting to wind down a little bit so that I can put um, more videos out and more, um, hopefully some educational resources and just even being able to have the chance to share my work. So this is pretty, horrible setup with the light in the background but I'm gonna flip the camera around and do a little walkthrough with you and thank you so much for being here please feel free to like and if you want to subscribe you can you don't have to but um, yeah I really I just I enjoy sharing and I'm also going to link in the description below to my website to where these things are and also to some of the other um, other items like, you know, my palettes don't come with a mixing palette, but I have a, some other videos where I talk about how I mix and how I travel with my mixing palettes. Um, and, um, and I'll link some of them below that I actually recommend for getting out and about with your paint and your wooden palettes and how you can take that in your backpack, anywhere, travel around the world. I've done it and I love it. So, all right, let's get to it. I am thrilled to share with you the new collection of paintings that I have coming out um, right now and I'm releasing my email today. I have the originals and then I also have prints and they come in 5x7, 8x10, and 11x14 and I did this little series. It's just four paintings. I've got a swallowtail. I have a honeybee. And they're just like a cute little, you know, I don't have the right words for my work sometimes, but they really were just something I, I wanted to play with and I wanted to explore and um, just really get back into painting. I've kind of been focused so much on office work. I am a full-time artist, but sometimes the balance of the work that you do is sometimes leaves out making art. So getting back into painting, this was something I was hugely excited about. I also have um, a landscape that I finished working on. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to share those with y'all very quickly. And then I also, I don't know if you'll see around here, I've got all of my watercolor palettes. This is the one, this has been my desk palette for years. I had put a little note on it because I had a show this weekend and just wanted to show everybody um, because I sell watercolor palettes and I have a ton ready to be released. Um, and they're coming out tonight too with my email. Um, and so I just want you to see kind of what they look like in use. Um, this one I didn't even fill up all the way, but these are kind of extra colors that aren't in my standard palettes that sometimes I just need to pull out for a project. And then I have this huge guy over here that I made as like a, a hefty big, big palette. I was going to sell it. I mean, that was the purpose of making it, but then it kind of, things went awry. 
I don't necessarily need this with the other palettes I have, so there's a possibility I might sell this. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, and there's my half day planner. But let me show you what I've got. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This one is cherry. It has this beautiful beveled edge on it. It's a very kind of natural live edge sort of feeling. It's got two brush holders here. That's what those are meant for. Of course, I don't have a paintbrush on me. But if you have a paintbrush, you can rest it there. Um, it's a nice size. Everything comes with a little burn emblem on the back. So, And it comes with a little bag to store it in. And this bag is made from my fabric. Um, my designs and watercolors printed on an organic knit cotton. So here's another one. I did this in a muslin bag. It has a, a recycled felt liner on the inside. Um, this is called Sapelli. It's in the same family as mahogany. And a lot of the woods I get are from like scraps and remnants from um, wood shops. So it's a really, really beautiful it doesn't, like, the camera doesn't even do it justice. This is more what it looks like in person. Um, and it's got the burn mark on the back. Two brush holders. And then what I was thinking with this is this could be something you could even get your watercolors on and create a beautiful custom bag. Another one of my favorites in the pink crane is this walnut. Do you see kind of the rainbow effect there? You get those kind of color shifts there we go. Um, with the walnut due to the sap. So like, it just is a really, really kind of special, special design. So you see there, it's a little easier to see without the palettes, but it's got this beautiful kind of rainbow design with it. And it's got the larger wells. So kind of similar to these. And another one in the Sapelli family is this one. And it's a little bit smaller than the last one, and it has the round palette, and then there's one that matches it in size, but has rectangular. So same Sapelli. It's a nice, rich, warm red. So you've got these two that are similar. And then this is another one of the walnut palettes, and it has this hole here, so if you like to hold it, it really is just for looks and it also is um, just kind of how I made it for no particular purpose. I even think it's kind of fun. Maybe you could hang it on a wall with a hole like that. I have been thinking about creating some designs where these are hangable just because I think they're so pretty to look at and when they're not on your desk, this one's that same kind of walnut with the beautiful coloring. So yeah, that could be kind of a fun option there. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, I love this one. I think this one was actually supposed to be on the last release, and I think I actually never listed it. It's cherry. It's nice. It's very thin and lightweight. It comes in the flower bag also. Really big well. So if you don't like a lot of different colors, but you like a lot of paint, that's a really good palette for you. This one is Rainbow Poplar. It's already up on the website. It's got this nice kind of marking down the middle. Yep. And then let's see what else. What else? What else? Let's pull them all out. Little tiny ones. This one is a six well in the cherry. This one is also a little tiny cherry one, but it's got lots of, lots of wells. So 15 in this one. It's a cute, perfect little palette, pocket palette. You would be shocked by how much paint, like I barely, maybe twice a year I have to fill that up, but only certain colors. This one's the maple, so it's a nice light colored maple. Oh, yay. These are, I'm going to leave these for last. They're kind of an oddball. Uh, this one is called Rubberwood. This is one that was um, that I am recently working with from um, the wood shop remnants. So I've never worked with this wood before, and it was actually really fun. It's kind of got this weird, interesting um, 
grain to it. So these, I've got two. I've got this one here. So you lay, lay it down on top of its bag like that. This is sycamore. So I've got two of them. This one doesn't have a brush holder. This one does. I just didn't, I wasn't able to fit them in. And I actually think they'd be really cool kind of on the top corners of your desk. So, yep, these, I don't know. Can you see the texture on that? Just gorgeous wood to begin with and then to be able to use it while you work. That is why I love what I do. Each piece is different. I am not like a... A repetitive maker um, there are certain palettes that I will kind of repeat and have as a standard I have the um, the uh, what's it called cedar I have those in the uh, on the website but then I also have card holders and walnut and then I have this is a um, wormy cherry I'm making bookmarks from some of the cards and so if you have card a day this is what a card holder is for if you have a picture a family picture or something like that um yeah but i just have some walnut and chestnut card holders so all right what else i don't know i don't know much else i am um doing some i have some classes coming up with this artwork um, if you're interested in doing something like this for yourself in your script book. So, um, so that's coming up and I'll be announcing more of that soon. And other than that, that's just, I'm just doing a little quick um, update and I'm really, really glad you're here. And again, thank you so much for being here. Um, to be a full-time artist, it means having a community, being seen, having my work um, recognized and um, appreciated. And I just, I appreciate you giving me the time in front of you today to share with you what I've been working on. And I look forward to the next update and the next release. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.